A D S R Pro. Hi guys, welcome back to EDSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. We're going to look now at the new vintage compressor, tube compressor and magneto within uh, Cubase 9.5. So, first thing I've noticed on my instance, anyway, when I go to magneto or to search for it, it says it's still magneto 2. However, when you open it up, it is actually, I mean, it still says magneto 2 here. Uh, however, it is Magneto Mark III, as you can see by the new interface. So we've just got it on this loop, so let's just have a quick listen. I'm just going to increase the volume. Apply a bit of saturation. Now that saturation is really quite nice. Bypass. I really like that. Really uh, quite nice and subtle, uh, but certainly brings out some characteristics of the sound. Yeah, quite like that. So let's go to the next one. Turn that on, let's bypass Magneto. And here we've got the vintage compressor. I'm really liking the new look. Uh, I must admit some of the old Steinberg plugins were looking very, very dated. So this is kind of nice. So again, with this one, now with a new mix control, it allows you to do a parallel compression. So that's just 100% compression. Let's go to extreme so we can hear what's going on. That's really bringing out the transients. Extreme compression. So let's just wind that back off now. So that's without any compression. Full compression. And let's parallel compress. So there you go. That's really nice. It's just brought out the transients of that loop. Let's listen to it in context. Bypass. Quite sort of wishy washy there. And that's just brought out a little bit of the transients. So, yeah, quite like that. It's quite nice. Like I say, most importantly of all, I think it's nice to just have the uh, graphic update. They certainly look a little bit slicker now. And to our last one, the tube compressor. Again, this now has the mix control. So let's start with 100% wet so we can hear exactly what it's doing to the sound. Bypass first. 100% wet. Now I've got headphones on and I can hear there's kind of a little bit of the spatial separation going on when, when that's in. Let's increase the drive. Let's 
drive it a bit more. There we go. The character adds sort of a bit of artifacts in there, which is kind of nice. And it's uh, really, really quite subtle, which is sometimes exactly what you want. Again, it seems to be just bringing out the transients a little bit. Let's listen to all of them. So again, really nice. I uh, really like them. I certainly like the interface upgrade. It's certainly a little bit slicker. And also definitely really appreciate having the mix knob in there so you can do parallel compression a lot easier, which is nice without creating additional groups, channels, and having effects on there, then applying you know the additional volume from the secondary group channel and so on. So really, really nice. Uh, well done. Really liking this upgrade so far. And we've still got more to go. As per usual, please do subscribe to my channel, and until next time, bye-bye. A. D. S. R. Pro.